Hey YouTube, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do a curl former set on my natural hair. Here are some of the tools and the items that I will be using in this video. So to start off, my hair has already been stretched by a previous curl former set and sectioned. Um, I'm going to pin all the other twists out of the way and I'm going to start off by unraveling this first twist. I take a small workable section of hair, pin the other piece out of the way, and I spritz my hair down lightly with water. I take some of my shea butter mix, smooth it into my hair, and then I take some of my homemade gel, um, pump a little bit in my hand, and smooth it over the entirety of that section. Um, it actually has a base of flaxseed gel along with other ingredients to provide it with extra hold. I will make a tutorial on how to make the gel in the future. So I'm taking some of the hair out of the section because I felt it was too big. Then I take my bootleg curl former and slide it onto the hook. These curl formers, um, as far as I know, give the same results as regular ones. I've watched tons of tutorials and my hair came out exactly the same. Um, or you know whatever so if you want to try curl formers but you don't want to pay 60 million dollars um, I would give it a try anyways I twist the root of my hair take the curl former hook and put it over the root making sure all of my hair is in the hook I push the curl former over the hook to kind of lock my hair in place and then I pull the hook through the curl former Once I have the curl former latched onto my hair, I hold um, the curl former at the base of my head and I slide my fingers down the length of it, straightening it so that it can have that um, perfect spiral curl. So again, I section off a piece of my hair, spritz it lightly with water, apply my shea butter mixture, smooth it in, and then take a pump, my homemade gel, I smooth that into my hair. I take the hook and the curl former, put the curl former on the hook, twist the root of my hair, take the hook, hook it on to the twisted part of my hair, make sure it's all in there. I push the curl former up over the hook to latch on my hair and then I pull the hook through the curl former <laughs> and then I straighten it out. So I'm going to show you guys this just a couple of more times. Um, so you can get a firm idea of what I'm doing. I try to get the curl former as close to my roots as possible. So that way when I take it out, I won't have bunchy roots and my roots will kind of be flat and straighter for this set. So this is the last curl former. And now I'm just going to sit underneath my hooded dryer for a little while, not a little while, maybe an hour or two, and I'll come back and show you guys the results. Alrighty guys, so I ended up sitting under the hood of dryer for an hour and a half and then I kind of just lollygagged for another hour and a half um, just making sure my hair is completely dry. Which was a total of three hours letting it dry. So to take the curl form is out, I just pull the curler straight and then um, it kind of just slides out of my head. But I squeeze the tips together if it's a little difficult to come out on its own. So it was actually pretty easy to take them out. And here is my curl former set. I was actually really happy with the set. The curls came out gorgeous. Um, um, I was a little surprised at how short my hair ended up being with the curl former set um, completed, but I still really loved um, the results that I got. All right, so here's a close-up of the curls. Right here, I'm just showing you how my hair is still textured even though um, it is in the spiraled curl former curl. Here are my roots. This is how straight and stretched um, they have gotten. I'll show you my whole head.
and yeah some more close-ups of the curls um, there will be a part two of this video where I show you guys where and how I purchased these cheaper versions of curl formers um, and show you some of the do's and don'ts and what my hair looked like the next day and how I tied it up so stay tuned for part two If you are interested in part two, you can click here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, YouTube.